All right, this is Teaching Textbooks Algebra. Okay, so I've done the reviews on Matthew C, and I love Matthew C. I've been using them on four kids now, and I've started in kindergarten, that's the earliest they start, and, they, and I've gone up to algebra. But, however, <laughs> my oldest is now doing the algebra and is not working out. Algebra is tough and hard, and I personally hate math. I was bad at math in school, and so as a homeschool mom, I didn't know how the heck I was going to teach math. Enter teaching textbooks. I've heard a lot about it. Um, it can be kind of spendy, but um, if you can find them, you use curriculum sales or whatever, you can get awesome deals on these. And that's how I did it, through a Facebook curriculum <laughs> sale. Um, this is Algebra 1. So, of course, this is the first that we've bought. It comes like this. It comes with the big, fat, teaching textbook thing here. And it gives all the lessons. It gives, you know, example problems. It tells you everything that it goes over like that. But the thing is, is it's an online. So, you do well, you do it on the computer, not online. It comes with a disc. But this is the book that you as a teacher could look through and whatever. Um, since it's on the computer, you don't really need this unless the kid has a problem and you need to go over it. But it's nice to have a hard, cap, hard copy manual that's just right here at your fingertips so you can look. And it's, it's fun. Whoever made this made math fun. I'm telling you, I love it. And then this is the answer key right here. So it gives you all the answers to everything. Okay, pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. And then this is the meat of it right here. This is all the disk that you need for the entire year for algebra right here. So all you do is you just start with disk one, you pop it in your computer and um, it downloads on there and so that way whenever your kid needs to do math all you do is click the icon on your desktop opens up and the teacher as a, as a teacher you have your own password and then the kid has their passwords which works out when you have more than one student using it that way it can keep track of everyone's individual scores um, I just have one child doing it right now so it's pretty easy you just has to click on it opens up and the beautiful thing about this is that it talks, so it's um, interactive, and has a section on it where it's the lesson. So it's called lecture, so you click on it. So lesson one, click on it, and then it shows the lecture, and all you do is press on it and it plays, and you can pause it or go back or whatever. And the guy on there is like fun, and he makes, he explains the lesson that you're gonna do for the day, and then there's practice problems, and then it's interactive because the kid can answer questions throughout it. So it's like bright colors, it's simple, it's, I know this is algebra, <laughs> but they start, as you can see here, they do for third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh um, math. And then they have pre-algebra, algebra one, algebra two, geometry and pre-calculus. So this is perfect. And I know in the state of Oregon, we need three years of math to graduate high school. So we are going to do Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and Geometry, and then we're going to be done. <laughs> and then as senior year, we're going to do a personal finance course. Um, I still like the Matthew C. They have a stewardship one that you can do anytime in high school, and I'm going to save it for senior year because it goes over personal finance, how to bounce a checkbook, how to be a good steward of your money, how to save, all the stuff that I think young people need to learn now before they graduate and go out in the world. So anyway, back to this. This is perfect. It is fun. Kids love to be on the computer anyway. Um, my son is 13. So algebra basically is usually for freshmen. So you'd start at age 13 or up for it, unless your kid's in math whiz and does it earlier. But usually eighth grade is pre-algebra. Um, so we are excited for this. Um, so we did the first lesson yesterday and it was so fun. The whole family was gathered around trying to answer the questions. So it explains it so nice. So even I am interested in math now. I was like, if I had time, I would totally do this. Um, 
So that's it. You have all the discs, and the beautiful thing is, is you can reuse them for each kid. So even if you do have to buy them brand new online, it is worth investment, I say, because you can reuse them for every kid after it. You just keep them in here and make sure they don't get too scratched up, of course. But you can just have it, and you have it set for every kid after. And this is the 2.0. This is the newer one. They had an older one, and then this newer one. So this is works with Windows 10. Um, and I think XP, I'm not sure. It says that on the information. If you just Google it online, you can just go to teachingtextbooks.com. Um, and it should say on there. So, and it has automatic automated grading. Awesome. So it, it as a parent, you can log in and you can see the scores. So it shows you if your kid did all the practice problems and all the problems um, we have a couple chances to do it, and then if they still get it marked wrong, they can go to see how the solution was done. They have hints on the side you can click on. It's fun, makes noises, interactive. <laughs> Even algebra can be fun. I am so excited for this. So, I highly recommend this. I know a lot of people right now in my homeschool circle that have been switching to this, especially as you get, as you get to the higher grade. It's kind of more difficult and you want your child to enjoy all the studies and not have fights and arguments and like wanting to tear your hair out because you just don't get it so yes I've had enough of that I was desperate and I'm so glad I ran into this so here's a quick view of the table of contents just the basics here So my son loves it, by the way. Anything on the computer is totally good by him. And the fact that they make it so fun. I never thought math could be fun. <laughs> so there you go. And then it just gives you a little intro. Okay, so it just gives you all this stuff. So it's everything laid out in here. So if your child is struggling with math or tired of the ugh, monotonous worksheets and um, all the copy work that is just, you know, you don't need this to be harder than it is. And math is a necessity. It's, you have to have it for everything. So um, might as well make it fun, right? So for these special, for these higher grades especially, I recommend teaching textbooks. I am still going to use Matthew C for the kindergarten up through pre-algebra um, because we have it and it works. But I recommend these for the higher ones especially. Um, if your child, even in elementary grades, is having a hard time with math, then I would recommend checking this out too. So, teaching textbooks is awesome. It's going to save... <laughs> Our home school, especially our high school math, because we're going to have a lot of other subjects on top of this. So this is highly recommended. Check it out.